You may be familiar with, in people, there's these kinds of cells called stem cells, the cells that uh, can do rapid cell division and aren't necessarily already specialized in what they can do. And it's an area that people are really interested in figuring out so that we can do things like repair our skin and stuff like that. Well, with plants, they have similar layers of cells, but instead of being called stem cells, they're called meristems. And this is how plants are able to achieve their growth. So these kinds of or layers of cells are uh, further subdivided into the protoderm, ground meristem, and procambrium. The protoderm, you might be able to figure out from that root word derm there, is what gives rise ultimately to the outer layers of the plant. The ground meristem gives rise to what's known as the ground tissue, which is often involved in things like photosynthesis or storage. And procambrium, which is what gives rise to the vascular tissue, things like xylem and phloem. Occasionally you'll see when these start to specialize, you'll see things mentioned like vascular cambium, which is tissue that gives rise only to the vascular tissue, and cork cambium, which is what gives rise to the cork, the bark of some kinds of plants. Now, at either end of a plant, at the tip of the shoot, the growing part above the ground, and at the tip of the root, you'll have the shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem. And this is where the plant is able to add new cells as it grows. Now, this is what, in the plant, the shoot apical meristem is how it gives rise to new branches. As that shoot grows, the cells up here start to grow and develop into new leaves. They may grow out laterally to extend into other branches. And a very similar process is how the root grows. Now, most plants can do what's called primary growth. That's just getting longer at either end and uh, elongating their lateral branches. Secondary growth is something found only in some plants, and that's where it's able to add additional layers of cells going outwards. And this is found in things like oak trees or redwood trees, and that's how they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Whereas things like bamboo or corn, they typically can't do that secondary growth. If you've ever opened up a bamboo stem, you'll actually find it's pretty much hollow on the inside. So that's a difference in how some plants can grow.